Hello guys and welcome back to a brand new episode of Let's Play World of Warcraft. Here we are at episode 49, almost at 50. And episode 50 is going to be a little milestone in itself. But for now we are on episode 49 and we are level 56, soon to be 57 at the end of this video. And we've just got one quest from last time, which is to attune ourselves to the Bloodstone Teleporters here in the Serpent's Coil. So yes, we haven't moved from the last episode guys, we are still here. And to get a little more festive for this holiday season, we're going to bring out our Winter Reindeer pet. Because I totally forgot that we actually had this guy. And so we're going to get him out. And there he is. To make things a little more Christmas-like. To uh, brighten up the day. And so we'll have him with us in this episode. And so I guess we better go and attune ourselves to these Bloodstones. And do I just use this one again, I guess? Oh, we do. That's, that's all we actually have to do. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay, we are now attuned. Obtain nine vials of Snickerfang Hyena Blood and nine vials of Redstone Basilisk Blood. And... Obtain five Ashmane Steaks from Ashmane Boars in the Blasted Lands. Where else, my friend? Where else? Because if he asked me to go to a different zone, I probably wouldn't do that quest. I'd be like, yep, you are uh, kind of taking liberties now. But no, it is in the Blasted Lands, guys, so I guess we'll do that for him. So we'll mount up. And we should have a reindeer any second now. There we go. That's more like it. So we have a big reindeer and a small reindeer. There you go. How cute is that? <laughs> This is a very strange Let's Play World of Warcraft. Anyway, so we're going to go off now, guys, and try and find those items that that little gnome guy was looking for. So we need some Snickerfang Hyena Blood, some Redstone Basilisk Blood, and five Ashmane Steaks. And apart from pulling aggro, we're just going to make our way over there now. So I hope you guys are all doing amazing, and look at this, free skinning on the go. Although we're not actually getting any points, as you can see, because I totally, totally forgot to uh, visit the skinning trainer and get the next point of skinning, but never mind. We'll just grab a couple of pieces of leather, because it's uh, free, so why not? <laughs> so yeah, anyway, here is a basilisk before that other character over there completely destroys all mobs in the area. Getting Moonkin formed, that would be a good idea. Yeah, there's a warlock over there, pretty much killing everything. So we'll get what we can, guys. We'll get what we can. Oh, and before I forget, this video should be uploaded on the 23rd, which means that kind of today is your last chance, sort of, of entering the subscriber Christmas contest, because tomorrow I will be picking the winners for that and uploading the video to let you guys know just who has won. Uh, so basically the idea is that... Uh, the competition is going to be closed tomorrow. Um, I don't think I'll be up early enough in the morning before work to sort it all out on the computer tomorrow morning, guys. So what I'm going to do is, as soon as I get home from work, which will be about uh, roughly about 1 or 2 in the afternoon, I'm going to close the competition then, and then take a list of all the names, and record the actual draw, and then obviously edit the video, uh, render it and all that good stuff, and then get it uploaded, and let you guys know just who has won. Because there are some cool prizes up for stakes, so like I say guys, now is pretty much your last chance to enter that competition if you haven't already. So go and do that now. Well not now, watch this episode first and then maybe go and do that. Okay? Okay. Anyway, back to the plan. We are now killing hyenas for their blood. Because we are just like that. We're just uh, kind of like vampires I guess. And so there we go. And it comes in a bottle, like how handy is that? I don't know how that works, but yeah, we get a bottle of it, so. And we also need these bars for their steaks. We already have one of those. So hopefully the drop rates aren't too bad. I say that all the time, but I just really hate crappy drop rates. But who doesn't really, I guess? They just suck. Anyway, it's not too bad. That is two out of five so just three more of those 
if we can actually find any mobs because they seem to be being killed rapidly by other players. Oh, there's another boar here. We'll grab him. Come here, my friend. I need your steak. Surely you should be able to get more than one from uh, a giant boar, but oh well. So yes, I'm happy to say, guys, that the episodes are the videos in general on the channel, oh, Hyena, are coming out more regularly now. I hope you enjoyed my first official Hearthstone match. That was a lot of fun to record that video and to play that game. And to actually win the match was pretty damn cool as well. So yeah, I am, I am really loving Hearthstone at the moment. And I definitely urge you guys to play it when it's released, if you uh, aren't already in the beta. But yeah, definitely pick up Hearthstone, guys. Such a good game. And it becomes really, really addictive, like, really quickly. It's kind of dangerous. <laughs> but, you know, that's kind of like the thing with most Blizzard games. They just keep you coming back for more. Anyway, what the hell is going on here? So, right, let's let's take a stop check, guys. We've got three Ashmain Stakes, three Snickerfan Blood, and two Redstone Basilisk Blood. So, we're not too far away, but we do have a way to go yet. So, I guess it's my job to keep on rambling. So, I hope you guys don't mind too much. But yeah, it should be a longer episode this time around, guys. I know the last few episodes have been kind of short. And that's been because, basically, they've been a few days apart. And in between those days, I've been doing a few things like the dailies for the Winter Spring Mount. Uh, which, by the way, we're going to go and do at the end of this episode. So, once we get to about uh, 10,000 XP shy of the next level, then we're going to head over to Winter Spring and do our daily quest for the Winter Spring Mount. Because I kind of feel like you guys have been missing out on that because I've just kind of been logging on and doing that every now and again. I have missed out a couple of days, like I said, but uh, it'll be cool for you guys to tag along for one of the dailies. There are just mobs all over now, guys, and we're going crazy. And we just got another one of those items that you can hand in for crap gear. So we probably won't do that because it's worth zero XP. <laughs> and that's no good to us. Okay, lots of drops please. There we go. Okay, we're getting there guys. Slowly but surely. We are getting there. Ah, oh, damn thing. I'm just thinking what if it's actually something good. But I just know that it's not going to be, but maybe we'll hand it in, guys. It's not too far away, actually, so maybe we'll see. Just out of curiosity. And as for the next episode, guys, I might be going into a dungeon. I'm not entirely sure yet. It kind of depends what mood I'm in in the day. Like, for this episode, I was considering going into a dungeon, but I just uh, kind of wanted to do my own thing and just chill out for an episode. So here we are questing. And having some fun. And I still need to uh, loot these guys, don't I? I forgot about those. Hopefully some more. Yes. Okay, so that is all of the basilisk blood. And all of the steaks. So is that everything now? Oh no, we still need the snickerfang hyena blood. So we need to find some hyenas. Like, right now. So have I covered everything? I've covered the subscribe contest. Uh, one last reminder, remember guys, do check that out if you're not entered already, because you'll be missing out. Uh, the other thing was, I can't remember now, what the hell was the other thing that we spoke about? I really, really can't remember. Uh, but there is a 100th video coming up, guys. That is the other thing that I want to talk about. I'm not sure, I think this episode might be, like video number 98 and therefore tomorrow the subscriber kind of uh, contest results is going to be video number 99 and so the next video after that will be uploaded on the 27th which will be the 100th video and that will include me getting the winter spring mount and a few other things in world of warcraft and a few other games as well and lots of me rambling too, because it wouldn't be one of my videos if I wasn't there rambling. So yes. So yeah guys, it's all happening. It's all happening. Okay, just one more hyena. If you see one guys, shout out. Because I am prone to missing mobs and stuff like that. 
Um, doo -doo -doo. There we go. Hiding away, but you can't hide for too long because we will find you. And we will kill you, and we will take your blood in a handy little bottle that you just randomly drop for us. Just like that. Okay, guys, so we're going to go back and hand those in now. Back to the Serpent's Coil. Okay, guys, here is the little gnome dude. There are your stakes, my friend. Some nice XP. And there is your blood. You crazy little gnome. Okay, speak with Kazim Sharim to begin the blood ritual. Is this the only quest that we've actually got now? I think so. Okay, let's see what you've got. Ah, uh, yes, I would like to start the blood ritual. Well, that was easy. Okay. Oh, three quests. Obtain the amulet of Alil Stage from the Serpent's Coil. I hope I pronounced that right. Obtain Grohl's amulet from the Shattershore. And obtain the amulet of Savine from Salt Flop near the Shattershore in the Blasted Lands. Fair enough. So we're going to be going to the Shattershore uh, again. <laughs> And we also need to find an item within the Serpent's Coil here. So I guess we'll go and find that one first then, guys. Okay, let's prowl. Always good to prowl. Okay, where is this item? Uh, oh, here it is. Nice. Very, very nice. So that's one of the amulets, guys. So we'll head out to the Shatter Shore and we'll try and get the other two. And then we'll head back here and hand in and see how close we are to level 57. Okay, guys, we have arrived. We seek amulets, but we don't know where to find them. Um, oh, crap, we've just woken up a drowned Gilnean. Which is not good, you don't want to do that guys, because as you can see, they are a bit grumpy when they wake up, so it's best to just uh, stay way out of the way of them, but never mind. Okay, so where the hell are these amulets? Uh, okay, so over that way, so it's going to be on a ship I guess. Probably the one out in the water there, maybe. Okay guys, I think we're going to be heading out this way to this ship. So here we go. I could go in like aquatic form, but I'm just prowling because I don't want to draw any mobs. So let's try and get in this window here if we can. Come on, there we go. And oh, I think this might be it. Yeah, head of Grohl. So we need to... Uh, so is Grohl going to appear now? And we... Yeah, there he is. So we'll kill him, and then we'll take his amulet. Sounds like a plan. Oh Christ, he's enraged. Boom, he's down. Okay, there we go guys, there is the amulet of Grohl. Crap, I can't get back out. There we go. So now we just need to find the last amulet, guys. And apparently that is not too far away. Okay, we need to... Oh, there's a quest here. Well, hello there. Salt Flop has asked you to speak with Chief Neptul of the Rockpool Mailocks. Okie dokie. But first we need to find an amulet, my friend. And it says that we're in the right place. Um, is it like a patrolling mob or something? Amulet of Savine. 
Hmm. Hold on a second, let's check the uh, quest log. Because usually that's a good idea. <laughs> and it stops you going too far off the track. Obtain the amulet of Savine from... So oh, so it's that male that we just spoke to. Oh, did I just miss something when we were when we picked up that quest? Um, apparently so. So <laughs> let's go back, guys. Because apparently it's that male lock right there. Aha, okay. I am an idiot, but never mind. So there are three amulets, guys. So I guess we'll go and report to that chief guy who this male lock wanted us to talk to. And we'll see what the hell he wants. Yo, man. Slay ten blood bloodwash barbarians and ten bloodwash en enchantresses. Okay, these are the slave drivers down here who are like whipping merlocks. That is not cool. We did not we did not stand for that. So you shall die for your sins. So easy enough. Ten of these guys and ten of the enchantresses. Pretty straightforward. Die, please. Thank you. All the poor little Merlocks guys there having to leave their home. It's so sad. All because of these evil Naga. It's just not right. It's just not right. But surely you'd think that these Merlocks would just see us like totally kicking the Naga's ass and they'd be like. Oh wait, we don't have to leave now because this person could just like destroy their entire army. <laughs> it's kind of like, okay, you can stop leaving your home now, we can save you, but no, there they go. Okay, this should be the last barbarian. Oh my god, he just whipped a mare lock. Oh my god, right, he is going to die so horribly right now. Take that, take that. Haha, -ha, missed me. Take that. And finally, take that. I can't believe you just whipped a mailock. Okay, anyway guys, that is 10 out of 10 barbarians slain. So we just need to kill the enchantresses now. Okay, just two more. Just two more. Where are you all? God, these crabs are really annoying me now. Just one more, guys. Just one more. Can we actually shoot our hair through this big shell? Or will it line of sight us? Let's. Oh, it's going to line of sight us. I was going to say let's check it out, but yeah, apparently that's so. Most of the time you can get away with it. You can shoot spells through mountains and trees and things like that, but apparently not through a giant tortoise shell. So there you go. You learn something new every day. And 10 out of 10. So that is that quest completed. So let's go and hand that in. Hopefully you won't have another huge kill quest for us. Where's my reindeer? Oh, we've lost the reindeer. Oh god, more quests. Slay 8, blood wash. Oh no, I don't know guys. I don't know. We'll accept that. Uh, destroy eight. Yeah, we'll we'll accept them, guys. But I don't know if we're going to be doing those because we've got to go and hand in those other three quests, and that's going to take us pretty close to 57. Okay, guys, we're at the serpent's coil. So yeah, we're going to get pretty close to 57 with these three hand ins, and then we still have to go and do the daily in winter spring. So hopefully we'll get enough XP here. Maybe not though. Oh, less intellect. Shame. And this night elf has just interrupted my hand in. I don't really mind. And there is your other hand in. Oh, guys, we are actually really close. We are like 300 XP away, kind of close. Okay, so we're going to go to Winter Spring now. <laughs> 
and we're going to do that daily quest and there uh, we're going to ding guys and that will get us to level 57 guys so that's awesome stuff so hi ho hi ho it's off to winter spring we go boom okay let's get our winter spring cub out Here is our daily quest. We are so close to leveling, guys. <laughs> Look at all that XP. Okay, we need to get six pieces of shard tooth meat from bears, from basically from some shard tooth bears in Windspring. And we'll get our usual Windspring cub whisker. So let's go ahead and find those bears, guys. I think we'll only like need to kill one and then we'll be leveling. So that'll be pretty cool. But we'll still do the daily quest anyway because it has to be done. And then we'll call it a day. Fortunately guys, this does have a 100% drop rate, so we only have to kill 6 bears and we'll be done with this quest. And our little winter spring cub gets a meal for the day too, so that's pretty cool. Everyone wins, except the bears I guess, but it does go to a good course. Oh, and there we go guys, level 57. Awesome stuff. So we're just one level away from Outland now. That is pretty sweet. But as you no doubt know from what I said earlier, the next episode of World of Warcraft at the earliest will be on the 27th after the 100th video, but it will be more likely be the 28th or a day around that time. Not too long away guys, only a few days, and <laughs> I'm sure you're not like that bothered, you know, like, oh my god I need an episode right now. But if, you, if for some reason you did crave an episode, don't worry, you've got Christmas and all of that good stuff in between to keep you occupied. So it's all good. Okay, so how many bears do we need? Is this the last one or do we need one more? Let's take a look. We have... Oh, we need one more. Okay. I can see a bear in the distance. Boom. Okay, there we go. And we'll skin him for good measure. Okay guys, it's time to feed our little winter spring cub here. He's going to eat some raw meat. I can't really see him. Let me move that down there. There we go. And there you go, guys. Hand in, and we get another Winter Spring Cub Whisker. So we've got 15 now. And, um, have we just killed our cub? Was that, like, meat poisonous or something? Um, seriously guys, he isn't moving. I'm slightly worried now. <laughs> Have we just killed our winter spring cub? Is that possible? He's uh, not moving at all. Oh dear. Oh. Don't you ever do that to me again, you little tiger. <laughs> oh my god, guys. For a moment there, I thought we'd actually just... Uh, killed him. <laughs> oh, well, I guess not. Good times. Okay, that's all. Everything's good. Everything's okay. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll be back soon with the subscriber contest results. Okay, until tomorrow, take care and bye for now.